welcome, this is Sver from the Hot Yule support team. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new territory battle planning tools where you can plan out your platoons for your guild and then save them as templates. We're going to go through an example on how to do it for the Hoth territory battle and the Genosis, Genosis territory battle. We're going to start out with the light side Hoth 1, and you click that button and choose to add a new template. After that you can choose the title. Typically, I would call this whatever phase I'm doing the template for. After that, you have some toggle buttons here. That is for choosing the amount of territories that you're attempting at the same time. You can also sort to shoot. You can also choose to sort the units by character name. Right now, it sets for three territories. I can choose to remove the ship one. I can also choose if I want the top top platoon to be called a squad platoon, so I don't have a middle one. Or if I rather have a middle and a bottom, I can do that as well. Or can just have the bottom one. Once I've set the toggles as I want them, I choose a name. And then I click save. Right now you can see my new template here. Go into view. And this is the first view that you'll get. Now I made this for two zones. One, both are character zones. One is top and one is bottom. First thing you'll want to do here is start assigning the characters to the platoons. Either you can add them manually by click <coughs> either you can add them manually by clicking add character, or you can choose to pre-assign all platoons. Then you choose the certain phase that you're assigning them for. Say we're in phase two right now. You will also get prompted that any of any previous assignments you've made to these platoons will be deleted. As you can see, this populates the entire platoons based on what is needed to be platooned in game. Next step now is to single out the non important characters. Characters like the Ewoks, that you might not be using in combat missions, can easily be removed from the list because you don't need to assign those to certain players. You also have the Javas, and there are some other non-important characters that you might want to remove from the list because your players are not likely to use them. This gives you a better overview and it's easier for you to assign the platoons that are important for your success. Or if you would rather assign all characters to a certain player, you can just leave them all there. Now that I've chosen the characters that I want to keep, and then they are important for me to fill in the platoons, I can start assigning players to them. Simply do that by either pressing this character here, or pressing the text assign player. Then you get an overview of all of, the, all of those characters in your guild. You can choose to sort them by GP, how many other characters that player has assigned, the gear, the relic, and the speed on the character. You also have a box here for searching for a certain player. Assigning is as simple as clicking the button, and if you assign multiple ones, it will start populating the other spots in the platoons. And once you're done, you can't assign any more play players to that character. Once you start assigning characters, you can see a counter in the top left corner for how many unassigned units you have left. All of the units that has been assigned also have a green, has the green name of the person assigned to them next to it. Once you're finished with your platoons, you can choose to send the Discord direct messages to all of your players with their assignments. Click the button and this little window will appear. Having this first toggle set to yes will include a longer message and including all of the non-special characters to all of your players. Platoon's deadline will also include in the message how long your players have until you want the platoons to be completely filled. The default value is 12, but you can set it as low as 0 and as high as 24. Once you're satisfied, you hit the button and it will send out direct messages to all of your players, looking like the one in the top right corner right now. Once you're finished, you can choose to see your own platoons. This is a view that all of your players can see as well. They can go into this site and then they can see their own platoons ahead of time. You can also choose to show players. This will show you all of your players in your guild and you can sort them by name, 
galactic power or the number of squads that they have assigned. This gives you a good overview if someone is getting too many assignments or if someone isn't getting any at all. If you made any errors when creating the template or want to change something afterwards, you can click settings. Then you can change the name, you can also change this platoon setup and you can change how it sorts the characters. There's also a compliance feature to this where you can check if your players have filled their assignments. I won't show this now on the Hoth one because we're actively in a Geonosis territory battle so I will be showing that a bit later. But this is how you typically set up a Hoth territory battle platoon assignments. Now we're off to create one for the Geonosis territory battle as well. And it's the same setup process there. Choose the side you want. Click add. Choose the title. And then choose the setup for the platoons. And hit save. Now since we're actively in a territory battle right now, I'm going to show you a little bit more how this would work if these were my own guild platoons. So this is what a typical platoon assignment could look for for my own guild. We've singled out the important characters and then we've outside those to players and, and this way there's not much assignments to be made and it doesn't take long either and Probably you have a predefined list already that you can work out of and then just create a template from that one. That way it doesn't take you more than a few minutes to set it up. It's really easy. And then the best part about this is that when you've sent out these Discord direct messages and the deadline is over, so I put a deadline for three hours, and the, those three hours have now passed. Then I click sync with game. You can choose to fetch new data, as you see my data is only 39 minutes old, so I don't have to do that right now. And then I click no, it's going to sync against the data that is available. As you can see here, they all turn green because they've been filled by players. And this one filled by Darth Pillen here, as you can see here, it's a fat green text, that's because he filled it in that spot. But if it's just green, it's going to show you the name after of who filled it. So that way you can see if the players have filled their own assignments or if it was filled by someone else. Generally it doesn't really matter, but you want to know, make sure that they're all filled and that this way you can see if someone specific hasn't filled their assignments, so you can go in and tell them to get it done. If either of these would not have been filled, it will show you as a white character with the assigned um, player to it. I'm can, I can show you how it looks. As you can see here, this one I added now, it's one more shark teeth than that is necessary, but it shows up as not filled by the player that it was assigned to. And that way you also know which player you should be contacting for filling out their last platoon. Once you've had this compliance uh, check, you can choose to send a new Discord direct message and then it will only send the message to players that are, has not yet filled their platoons. So if I were to send a new direct message right now, it would only send to one person because there's only one platoon left. I have not shown ships and that's only because it works the same way as squads, so there's no real difference. You can see that the top one is a ship uh, zone because those are named squadron instead of platoon, but they work the same way. You can pre-assign all of them, choose the correct phase, get assign, and then you get it's pre-filled. Remove the important ones if you want to, or assign everything to all players. That's up to you. Uh, now we're going to talk a little bit about how the filters work. So we're going to start with a fully filled platoon assignments here in the middle. And then we're going to try and figure them out. We're going to assign to C3PO. Now, uh, this is generally sorted by highest GP first. And you don't want to assign the characters with the highest GP in the platoons, because that's a waste. So a big thing with the tool is that you want to find the ones that have low GP. Either you can just choose to sort this list like that. Get the lowest GP the highest. You can choose to sort by gear, you can choose by relics, you can choose to sort by speed. And uh, you can also choose to filter this list. So you go to filter players units. And then you have some options here. You can choose to filter by maximum GP because you don't want to um, platoon the highest level ones. Um, so C3PO is actually a bad 
example. We're gonna look at Hot Rebel Scout instead. Filter players units by maximum GP. So now I can choose to only see the ones that have 18,000 GP or lower. Uh, I want the maximum stars to be 7 of course, because this is Yonosius, so they have to be 7 stars in order for the platoon them. Uh, maximum gear, uh, don't care about, I just care about the GP, but we could set maximum gear 12 as well. And then there's a really nifty feature here that you can choose to show only the players that also have the following unit. So, let's say I don't... <coughs> I don't want someone platooning the Hoth Rebel Scout that does that can't also play another team. So let's say we need someone that also has Jedi Master Kenobi because then I know they can get in another Jedi team. Seven stars and minimum gear 13. So there we go. Here we see all the players with Jedi Master Kenobi that also has a low level Hoth Rebel Scout. So that way I know I can platoon this character and they can still have another team to go with. Or you could, uh, we could do another example as well. Go for Jedi Knight Revan. I only want to see people that have uh, maximum relic 5. I don't think we have any below gear 13. Uh, but they also need to have Jedi Master Luke. Skywalker. So they have... Uh, good other Jedi leader as you can see here. Then I can sort by GP and there we go, we got some uh, that aren't relic yet. Now I know I can platoon this character and uh, they, that player can still play with Jedi Master Luke as the Jedi leader instead. And that's pretty much it for the Territory Belt's platooning tool. Uh, the biggest part with this that you won't get anywhere else is the compliance features. You can use other bots that will give you automated lists and will assign uh, all of the units to the lowest players and stuff like that. But nowhere else will you get the f uh, sort of compliance that we're allowing here where you can see who assigned what to what uh, assignment and who it hasn't assigned yet. Sending Discord reminders after the platoons have started. You're not gonna find that anywhere else so this is a really awesome tool and I hope you all will enjoy it as much as I do. Thank you very much for coming and have a great day.